Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring a topic that has fascinated many. The 10,000 Hours Rule. Popularized by Malcolm Gladwell in his book Outliers, this rule suggests that it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become world-class at anything. But is it really that simple? Let's find out. Malcolm Gladwell introduced the world to the 10,000-hour rule based on research by psychologist K. Anders Ericsson. The idea was simple. Practice a specific task for 10,000 hours and you could become a master. Is this true? Is the secret to mastery found in time? As with many things, the devil is in the details. People quickly latched onto the number 10,000 and forgot the nuances of the argument. So, what does it take to become an expert? The truth is there's no magic in the 10,000th hour. True, practice helps to shape skills, but a person could practice 11,000 hours and not improve. The popular statement, practice makes perfect, should be. Practice makes permanent. Be that good or bad. Logging hours can help, but how you spend those hours of practice is the issue. Enter the concept of deliberate practice. Author James Clear and other experts have expanded on Gladwell's rule. Deliberate practice is focused, structured, and requires feedback. It's not just about repetition, but about improving specific skills. In other words, the wrong type of practice does not improve performance. Kathy Sierra, a programmer and author, explains deliberate practice as working on a skill that takes one to three sessions to master. If it takes longer, you're tackling something too complex. Think of it like building blocks. You master one small skill, then move on to the next. This method applies to nearly any field, from sports to music to business. Let's take weightlifting as an example. You start by mastering the grip, then the basic movement, and gradually build up to the full lift. Each session focuses on a specific skill, building on the last. Notice how each skill builds upon the previous one. This is why fundamentals are so important. Get them right, and they support everything else you do. Experts who embrace deliberate practice often ask themselves three key questions. First, do I understand the fundamentals? Second, am I working on the next step? Third, what am I missing? These questions help ensure that your practice is not just about putting in time, but about making meaningful progress. So while the 10,000 hour rule is a great reminder of the dedication needed to master a skill, it's not just about the hours. It's about deliberate, focused practice. Remember, expertise is a journey, not a destination. How about you? What new skill do you want to master? More than practice will be required. You need to create a plan of deliberate practice. Now, a sample of such a plan should include, first, what's the goal? Second, what are the fundamental steps I need to take? Third, am I able to achieve this goal? Fourth, am I practicing the correct next step? Fifth, what am I missing? Sixth, who or what will I trust for feedback on my progress? Seventh, how much time will I commit to this goal? That skill you want to master awaits. Be deliberate in what you do when pursuing and achieving that goal. What do you want to achieve? You can be successful if you follow an effective plan. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights. Until next time, keep practicing deliberately.